Welcome to Inside the Islanders. I'm George Matthews. With me, the general manager of the Charlottetown Islanders, Grant Saunier. Uh, he and his hockey club have been finished up of this past uh, Quebec Major Junior Hockey League season for about a month, but a lot has gone on in the uh, month since this season has ended for Grant Saunier and the Charlottetown Islanders. And of course, uh, since the end of the season, Grant, you've been to Europe, uh, the under-18s, you've been uh, given a chance to scout that, uh, that tournament, and of course, you've been to the Combine as well in Quebec. Uh, for the potential June 6th draft, which will take place in Sherbrooke. But obviously the elephant in the room is the coaching situation here in Charlottetown right now. And of course, Corey DeWire, who was the major junior coach for uh, the major team here in Charlottetown for the last four seasons, uh, two with this uh, new ownership here in Charlottetown. For Corey DeWire, uh, here in his second season with the Islanders, takes him to the second round. And of course, uh, you get into the situation where uh, at the end of the, uh, the playoffs, you decide to, uh, again, replace Cody DeWire. Walk us through that situation as far as the, the coaching situation here is currently in Charlottetown. Well, I guess for starters, George, uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank Gordy for all the hard work. Uh, Gordy, a true professional, uh, a tireless worker, did a good job here uh, for the hockey club. And I know uh, the decision to move in a different direction caught some people by surprise, but Really what I'm looking for, uh, you know, Gordy did a good job here, but I think a new voice and a new leader to take this team to another level uh, was something we needed to do here. So, you know, Gordy will move on. He'll continue to coach. I'm sure he'll get another job, whether it's in this league or, or in the higher levels. Uh, I know he wants to be a coach. It was nothing personal with Gordy. It was just a, it was a, a, a thought and a, a concept that I believe that this organization had to go in a different direction. Grant, what are the strengths that you're looking for in the new head coach for the Charlottetown Islanders? Well, today's coach it's, uh, the, in this new millennium of hockey is uh, you have to be a motivator. Obviously, Gordy was a good motivator. Um, but you have to be a motivator. You have to be a teacher. You have to be a psychologist. Yeah, you have to be a counselor, really. And uh, I just think, you know, the message is pretty much the same every day, but now the idea to get a new message with a new voice and a new leader is what I'm looking for. And of course, once the announcement was made that uh, Gordy Dwyer was not returning as the head coach of the Charlottetown Islanders very quickly, you have a number of applicants looking for uh, this, uh, this position here in Charlottetown, which is one of the, the better positions moving forward here in Charlottetown, of course, with the potential of this team over the next couple of seasons. But uh, you're on record as saying that uh, this is going to be a process. You've got a number of applicants so far, uh, but yet you haven't made a decision. Does, does that mean that possibly you're still looking at that list, obviously, but as well looking at somebody that might be still currently employed? Yeah, the decision to go slow in this process. Uh, you never know in the coming weeks who might be available. Uh, I'm in no hurry to make the decision, or we're in no hurry to make the decision. Uh, a lot of people seem to think that the decision would have been made before the draft, but really our coach doesn't have to be in place uh, for the draft. That's a scouting issue. Uh, you know, your coach will have a major impact on your hockey club, but really to be involved in the scouting is not, uh, is not in the forefront. So we're going, to we're going to take it slow. We're going to look at all the applicants. Uh, we've already cut the list down considerably. Uh, I think you're right, George. People look at this opportunity as uh, a real a good hockey club to come in here and take over from the, the foundation work that Gordy and the staff has done. Um, but we're going to be slow in this process. Uh, a lot of names have already been removed. Uh, I'm sure every person that I've talked to to tell him he's not getting the job probably feels I've made the mistake. Uh, it's a tough position I'm in is, uh, to hire the next head coach, but uh, we're going to go slow and make sure we hire the right guy.